channel this is work life glue where we glue work and life together one piece at a time I am here today she's saying hi to share my daycare day with you I've done a few day in the life of a daycare provider videos before they've been really popular and they've always been during the school year so I thought I would do a summertime Dad. one. <laughs> and if you are new to my channel I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by I am the mom to two little girls this is Bryony Ann she's nine months old and I have Celia Ray who is three almost three and a half my husband is a very busy sous chef I am a child care provider to up to ten kids total with my two included in my home we live a crazy hectic beautiful life and I like to share videos about productivity time management organization cleaning crushing your goals as well as Friday daycare day videos where I do talk about lots of daycare related things if this is up your alley please click the subscribe button we would be so happy to have you I have an amazing group of glue sticks who are loyal to this channel and they are always so great in the comments so make sure you subscribe if you're interested she says, let's get on with it. So it is 6.30 right now. I woke up at four. If you are interested in why I get up so early, I will leave a video of my morning routine in the description below so you can watch that. It also shows like what I do to get the girls up and everything because we're already dressed. She was nursed, Celia had her hot tea, and I am ready to go. So from 6.30 to seven, I just get the house ready. Celia watches the Kindle so that she's not undoing everything I do. Bryony just kind of plays around me and I get stuff ready. So let's just jump right in. I already filled up all our water bottles last night. And if you're interested in outdoor products that I use to keep myself sane and to keep everything running smoothly, I will link a whole video to that below. But I, I just use these Target cheap water bottles and we take them outside with us. Say cheese. Bryony's just here in the kitchen with me playing while I get everything ready, so you'll probably hear her while I'm talking. There are a few things I like to do before the day starts to really get the day planned and prepared to save time and stress. One of the things I normally do is fill up our milks, but as you can see, I have like no space in our fridge. We've been trying out a new meal planning system. I will link a whole video below about how I prep for the week on Sunday. So we're just like overflowing with food, prep for dinners and lunches and things like that. So I'm not gonna fill up the milks, but I typically would if I had space. So that way at breakfast when we come up, all I have to do is make our grain, which is usually pancakes, waffles, toast, English muffins or bagels, and then some kind of fruit. And I try to kind of plan that out right now. I think we're gonna do um, bagels with um, cantaloupe because I already have that cut up. I do that on Sundays. So I will have eight children total today, two of my own, Bryony and Celia, and then six daycare kids. And so I will have from nine months up to almost five. So nine months to four years old of children, mostly the three to four year old range. Another thing I like to do while I'm prepping for the day is get out our paper and crayons. So while I'm making lunch the kids color, this helps them to have something to do so they're not getting into everything and driving each other and me crazy. And I find that it just really streams li streamlines my day to just have that ready to go. So as soon as we come upstairs, since my daycare is down a level, they just sit down, start coloring. I can start prepping breakfast, getting it on the table, and it has saved me a lot of sanity. <laughs> So this is my dining room where we eat. Right now I have one small table and our dining room table and Bridie goes in her high chair right there. I will be having a farmhouse table soon that I think will fit everybody. It's gonna be able to seat, it'll have a bench on one side and then five chairs around it. We can maybe even squish six chairs if needed and then I'll probably always have one to two kids in a high chair. So 
That'll be really great once they can all sit together, but for now this is my setup. And then in front of our beautiful window here, we have just this ottoman that we used to use as a coffee table. And I have started a few months ago putting these dishwashing bins here, and so the kids can dump their food in one, put their plates in another, and then put their napkins and their wipes after they wipe their hands and faces. They put that in here, and that's really easy for me to then bring to the kitchen. And it's teaching them responsibility. And I actually have a whole video on how to teach children responsibility in childcare. I will link that below. So it's now about 6.39, 6.40. Um, I am ready for the day. I usually just spend this time playing with the girls, um, looking at YouTube comments, stuff like that. And this video would not be complete without talking about my non-sponsor, but in my mind, my main sponsor, my coffee and my Contigo. This is not a sponsored video, but I couldn't get through the day without my coffee. In this Contigo, I fill it up at 4 a.m. It is still nice and warm when I finish it off during nap time, and it is seriously what gets me through the day. I have so many people comment on how do you do it all, um, besides lots of prayer, lots of patience, and just love for what I do and motivation. I've just always been a very motivated person. I also just need the coffee. Another thing I do before we head down is lay out blankets. We are up here in the living room just while I'm making lunch. That's when the kids watch their only TV, about half an hour while I'm making lunch. Um, there's divide on whether kids can should be able to sit on furniture or not, but after you've had a kid puke, pee, wipe, drool, or snot all over your couch, um, you will probably switch to this method as well. So I just lay blankets down, first of all to help protect my rug, and second of all, just to give them a boundary of how close to sit to the TV. So this works really well for us. It's time to head downstairs. Yeah. It's just about seven, just getting everything kind of put away, put together. We usually just play until about eight as kids arrive. I don't have any buses or anything like I do during the school year. We usually get out like table activities. Celia picked this fish puzzle. Bryony just kind of roams around now that she's crawling. Hi, baby. And we just play. I don't have a lot, a lot of toys up here because this is our, kind of like our preschool room, I guess you could say. Um, but we use this room mostly in the summertime. We have more daycare area down in the basement, which is right here behind a bazillion gates. Um, and we use that mostly on rainy days or in the winter when we're stuck inside a lot more. If you're interested in any daycare tours, I have a few that I have done as I change things up a lot, but I will link that playlist below so you guys can check them out. Something I do with their creations that they do that I'm not gonna send home every single piece of paper they color is I cut them up and I make note paper out of them so I can make lists on the back, which is a little money and recycling hack, I guess. I also spend this time just getting stuff ready. Um, we are gonna do water play today, so I like to take out paint brushes and little cups for them to paint things with water. And then I also will pick out our books. We don't do story time every day in the summer because we're usually busy, 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 but I pick out a few books just in case we have time for a story time. I set them here so when we go outside, they're easily accessible. Summertime around here is a lot looser, more flexible. We usually do water play Wednesdays and today is water play. We try to go to the park twice a week and then about two days a week we do something else fun, some kind of craft outside activity. Like earlier this week we painted with natural materials that we found on a walk. Um, we have music classes on Friday. I'm just always keeping the kids busy in some way but it's usually some kind of open-ended, process-oriented activity. But if you are interested in what we do, like for curriculum wise during the school year, make sure you check out my other day in the life videos because they were during the school year. What do you need next? Good job. L M N. It's 7.40 right now and I just laid Bryony down. She starts to get fussy because she's up on and off at five. And it's nice that she takes an early nap so that way she's done napping when we go outside. I'm drawing a circle. What is it? Are you making a person? No. Okay, so this is for Yep. Breakfast is served. Gonna wash our hands and then eat. Yep. 
Okay, grab a wipe. So while we wait for Bryony to wake up, we're gonna go potty. We're gonna get our swimsuits on, get sunscreen on, and that way we're ready to go. Bye, seal. I do this assembly line style, so the kids go potty, then they come over to me, get their swimsuits on, and then once everybody's done, we put sunscreen on. This little one is up. Perfect timing, because we just finished all our swimsuits and our sunscreen. So you're the last one, then we're gonna go outside. We're outside now, We've got the slip and slide set up. We got a hole in it. I put a tarp here just to kind of collect a little bit of water that they can like jump in and scoop. And then we have, yep, just wait, our water table. We enjoy splashing it on the fence and painting with it. And then Bryony has like the teeniest, teeniest little tiny bit of water in this pool in the octagon playpen so she can be part of the group. The water is actually pretty warm today since it's so hot. Okay guys, come pick out your paintbrushes if you want to paint the furniture and the fences. Uh, we love having this wind chime outside. The kids always love when it when it plays. Did you discover the water? Is that fun to splash in? <gasps> wow! Oh, is that fun? Wow! Can you splash right there? Woo! Wow! Baby, what you painting? Oh, it's very pretty. Oh. So we typically play until about 10.25 because Bryony needs to eat around 10.30, 10.40. And that way we can get dried off, clothes back on, nap stuff out and that kind of thing. I keep swimsuits and towels up here so when it's time to go in I just lay their towels on our tables I bring over here. I put these bins of water down here, they stick their feet in to dry them, to clean them off. Then they step on a towel and then I get them dressed one by one so I can still see everybody. And it works really well that way. So after we've all come in and I've made a pile of swimsuits and towels, I just throw these straight into the washing machine. So we just laid out our nap stuff just to save us some time and now we're going to head upstairs. Well, I am like completely soaked in sweat and water from carrying wet children in and a baby and I just nursed Bryony while the kids started their show. It's now 10.45. takes like five minutes to nurse her now. It's so nice that it's so quick. And they are all watching their show in the living room. And I am going to put all of our stuff away from breakfast. I just leave it because usually they're antsy. And then I'm going to make some lunch. I also brought in all the stuff we were playing with in the water to wash probably after this load goes because I usually do two loads a day because the daycare stuff takes up a whole load. And I will also be cleaning the pool Bryony was in and the water table and all that after the kids go home. I'm making some egg noodles and then some meatball with marinara. And I just want to give a shout out to my new cookware. These were on my Amazon wish list. I think it was about $65 to $70 for this blue set. And I absolutely love them. My parents got them for me for my birthday. They are called Green Life. I will link to them below. But they are super non-stick and they're natural and non-toxic. Unlike Teflon where if it leaches into your food, you're poisoning yourself basically. And they are really non-stick. And they can be washed in the dishwasher. We try not to do it too much. But if we're in a pinch, like if we make eggs with this one, we throw it into the dishwasher and it comes out perfectly. And the eggs don't stick. I absolutely love them. And they come in lots of different colors. About five minutes into me cooking, she realizes what's going on and starts screaming at me. She has no teeth yet, but that doesn't stop her from trying. <laughs> and she we, she won't eat purees at all, so we just do baby led weaning with her. I'll give her some of the food we're eating, but I try to hold her off till it's ready to teach her that we wait. Right, Bug? We wait till it's all ready. You love food. Yes, you do. These day in the life is kind of hard because obviously I can't talk about the children. I'm not going to. I'm not going to reference tantrums or anything. But I do want to say, to give it realistic perspective to you guys, often when they're watching TV, they're squirreling around and they have to come calm down in the dining room. I deal with meltdowns. I deal with back talk, potty talk, all that kind of stuff. Definitely deal with a lot of bickering. Um, but I'm obviously not going to share that. I just want to share what you know the typical day is like 
without getting into like the details of the kids and stuff. Not all of my kids like the meatballs with the meat with the marinara, so I always just put some butter and parmesan on these and leave them separate on the plate so that they will at least eat something. And I also have this pink Himalayan salt. I'm having major deja vu that I made this last time I did a day in the life, but I usually only try to repeat meals once a month. But this is what we're having, just a little garden salad with ranch, some blueberries, cut up meatballs with marinara sauce, and egg noodles. I like egg noodles because they're easier for the kids to eat, which also means less mess. It's 11.20, we're gonna come in and wash our hands and eat. It's now about 11.50, just finished lunch. They were so hungry. We're now doing a dance party where I put a uh, dance videos on the TV and they dance to get their wiggles out and I call each child down one by one to go potty. This is the only waste after eight kids. I would say that's pretty good. Bryony just continues eating while I do all this. Got the dishwasher filled up while they're dancing. Gonna run this and then I'm gonna clean these out, that our little bin, and clean all the tables. And then I can get my Sherla out and go to town. As far as this goes, I will just clean this off during nap. We're gonna head down to get ready for nap. It takes a little while sometimes. We'll see how long it takes. And what I always do is lay the kids down, they pick out books, they get blankets tucked in sometimes they want hugs I blow them all kisses we talk about our nap rules I get the fan and the sound machine and the camera hooked up for the monitor takes a little bit we get all settled um, and once they're calm and quiet that's when I head upstairs always have a fan on and a white noise um, CD going on repeat It's always behind the gate. I'm gonna lay her down and then Celia. Good night, baby. Sweet dreams. I love you. It is about 12:25. Just got up here with Celia. We're gonna read some books, probably one or two books, and then she's gonna lay down. It's our little special time because it can be hard for her to share me and her home and her little sister. I actually have a whole video on helping your own children. When you're a daycare provider, I will link that below if you guys are interested, but it has some good tips for, you know, dealing with some of the hard parts um, when it comes to your own kids in daycare with you. So everybody is down. It is, what time? 12.50. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I often will fluff a load of laundry um, in the dryer before I come upstairs for lunch. So when I was in there, Putting all the swimsuits in the wash, I just turned the dryer on too. And when I, after I was done laying the kids down, I grabbed this on my way up. So I'm gonna quick fold a bunch of laundry, towels, um, clothes, just a bunch of stuff. We use washcloths as towels, single use towels for the kids. So we go through so, so, so many since we wash our hands constantly. So I'm gonna get those folded and then I'm gonna work on some just random stuff on my to-do list while the kids sleep and then once I'm doing more daycare related stuff I'll check back in but I usually try to do like a power hour where I just knock out random sometimes YouTube sometimes daycare sometimes just random life things phone calls that kind of stuff for an hour and then I take some time to just rest before I have to get Bryony up and snack made and all that kind of stuff so it's now 2.30, Bryony just woke up. She, I normally get her up at 2.45, but she's up now. So I'm gonna quick just grab a snack, get it ready, get her up and feed her again, and then get the kids up. This is a glimpse into our pantry. It is definitely not Pinterest worthy, but um, it functions well enough for us. I think we're gonna do probably just like crackers, maybe um, graham crackers and string cheese. So I've got graham crackers here, and then we'll just I'll grab string cheese before I head down. I just put uh, my snacks in a bin, same dish bins I use over in the dining room, and I have a roll of paper towels I have downstairs, and we just take this out, and we always have snack outside if it's nice. Less mess, then we can just run and play right when we're done, and then we don't have to come back in. I also brought the kids' water bottles up, so I'll quick fill those 
I did not get to washing this stuff, but my husband came home. He's actually out in the garage working out, so he'll probably clean this up. And I also won't get to this since Bryony is up and I don't want to make any noise in here. Um, so Sam will probably empty that as well. A little stinker. Are you ready for some milk? <laughs> I'm just so grateful to spend my days with my girls and their best friends doing what I love. I just truly am grateful. So it's 3 o'clock. Just got the kids up. Got Celia up, then came down. We're putting our naps away, then we're all going potty. I just changed Bryony, and then we are going to go get our shoes on and go have a snack outside and play until the rest of the day. If it's too hot, we'll come back in because I've heard it's pretty humid now. I love our foldable high chair for snacking outside. And all I do is just have them put garbage in here and then put their water bottles back in there so I can throw them away later. One thing I really wish our house had was uh like dining area off the kitchen but i don't have that luxury so we just have to run it back in later or throw it in the garbage outside in our driveway time for sunscreen round two yeah. we'll do our sand tables pick up at five or before my five. Beep, 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 these are my newest addition and we love them well guys, it is just about 5 o'clock. My last kids just went home. We ended up coming inside at about 4.30 because it was super hot. I know some of you guys live in really hot areas, but it's like 70% humidity and 90 degrees here, which isn't as hot as some places, but we also get down to like 40 below with wind chill. So, you know, we get the whole spectrum and it was really hot for the kids. So we came in. Had a really good afternoon. I am sweaty. We're actually going to a party tonight, but I'm going to end this day in the life here. I actually have a whole video on my after daycare routine. After all the kids go home, do I do it perfectly every night? No, and I've been vacuuming more in the morning lately because we're in and out a lot at night and tracking more grass in, so I usually just vacuum quick when, right before the kids come, but I will leave the link to that video below. If you guys like these day in the lifes, make sure you give it a thumb up, thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I do a daycare day every Friday, but I also have lots of other great content for working parents, busy moms, um, just people who want to better themselves. That's what our channel is all about and I hope we can inspire you in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.